Brothers Hanger. We are here today to open up the box on the new Phoenix model 0A6M 20cc size. It has a 68 inch wingspan. Really excited about this one. Gonna open it up and see what's in this box. First out is the horizontal stabilizer. It's got a real nice finish on it, lots of detail with panel lines. Um, it is pre-hinged but they're not glued in, they're CA hinges. So you do all that after you get it into the fuse slots. It's covered in a real nice self-stick covering that's really tacked down good on this plane so far. No edges popping up like it was on my Falk Wolf FW190. Happy about that. Got a lot of panel lines, rivet detail. It is pre hinged, but uh, they're not glued in yet. CA hinges, just to give you an idea of the size. It uh, looks like about 28 three quarter inches, and it measures about nine inches to the back of the elevator here. Here's the, the wing, it's the top side. And it's got a lot of nice detail. It's the bottom of the wing. It has split flaps, aileron. Both of those are pre hinged but not glued. That's just something you got to do. Put the epoxy on there. It's got a um, servo hatch for the flaps, one for the ailerons. And looks like this one here is for the mechanical retracts. Also, there are some non-functional navigation lights in the wing tips. And I really don't think it would take a whole lot to um, fish a wire down through there and make those functional. Here's the bottom of the wing. Uh, you can see it's got split flaps. And the ailerons and split flaps are hinged but not glued. Got epoxy those in there. Um, it's got a place for the flap servo. The linkages will be hidden in the plane. Same with the aileron. And this is the uh, access door to get into the servo for the mechanical retracts. And on the wing tips. There are some non-functional navigation lights. And my plan is to uh, fish a wire down through the wing and put a functional LED into that. Now on to the fuselage. It's a nice looking plane. I really like the scheme they chose for it. Meatballs are bright and red. It's got uh, lots of good detail. You will notice that uh, they did put Shrek in this one too. So he's got to go. Well, next is a big surprise because the box top said this came with mechanical retracts that we assumed were going to be the same ones that were in the FW190, which were junk. But when I opened up the box, it's actually a set of electric retracts. And uh, they look pretty, pretty good. Made of steel frames, steel trunnion. Um, looks like a lot of composite plastic on this lower piece here, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what they do. And we've got the controller. To the retracts. Looks similar to a Robart electric retract controller. Miscellaneous. We got gear doors, exhaust, fuel tank, plastic spinner, motor mount, nice set of rubber wheels, uh, aluminum tail wheel that uh, has a little spring action to it. 
and hardware. And one more item, the drop tank. So it looks to me like um, from the manual that you stick this drop tank in between the wing halves when you slide them together and it just holds on two dowels that are right there. So you can fly with it or without it, but if you glue the wing together and it doesn't call for that to happen in the manual, then uh, you'll either have this thing in there per permanently or have to leave it out. I'll just give you a little bit better look on these retracts. Got an electric actuator. They look like a pretty nice retract, actually. They're not heavy at all. All right, here's our cowl. It's well done fiberglass. Very sturdy. One thing I like about this is these copper colored exhaust that uh, these actually mount to the firewall and they stick out like this around the cowl. Each one in one of these slots here. It's a really nice looking setup. I'm going to uh, power this plane with a VVRC 20cc rear exhaust that I uh, got for a deal. I've got one of these in my um, Hangar 9 P47 and I really like this engine. Uh, Bentley View RC. It's going to fit really well. Plenty of room in the cowl there for it. And it's rear exhaust. Like I say, here's my 20cc Valley View RC. This one's rear exhaust. Uh, the other one I have is in my P47. It's a side exhaust, but I just love the way it runs. Produces a lot of power. Real good mid-range. Uh, I like this engine quite a bit. And you can see it fits nicely in the cowl. That's about it. That's all the pieces out of the box. Uh, take me a couple of weeks to put this together probably. Maybe a little shorter than that, depending on what else I've got to do. And we'll uh, try to get some flight videos of this one. Also, flight videos of the FW-190 coming up soon. Thanks for watching the Warbird Brothers channel. Please remember to hit like and subscribe. And uh, come back and see what else we got going. Thanks.